Morning Brew, local news that matters to Northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. Well, the very talented Nancy Mock is back with us again this morning on the Morning Brew. She's a Vermont food blogger, and every time she comes in, we all get really excited here on the morning show because her recipes are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Oh, so <laughs> delicious. So, um, I mean, look at this. This speaks for itself. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful desserts here. Thank you. We're talking about things um, you can make in the Because it's been really, really hot. And I had an experience, like you mentioned, with the pizza. I baked cupcakes on one of those really, really hot days, and uh -huh. it was horrible. So I was highly motivated to think up some no-bake um, desserts. And these are refrigerator desserts as well. So okay. you assemble them and put them in the refrigerator. They sit overnight, and then you have a dessert to slice up the next day. And you call them icebox cakes? Icebox so cakes. This one is a pie, so it's a chilled pie. But okay. the others are cakes. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And um, the basic assembly of these is that you have something that is already baked, like graham crackers or pound cake or lady fingers. Okay. And you layer them with something creamy um, and sweet, obviously, like uh, whipped cream and puddings. I have mascarpone cheese in this one. Mm -hmm. um, so you do layers of them, and you can add in fruit and other flavorings. And okay. then, like I said, you wrap them and stick them in the fridge. And the next day, you can slice them up, and they, they set into one like a unified dessert. And it usually takes like a full day for them to set? It so does, like yeah, especially when you have layers of, well, of the already baked things, that way they really absorb the flavors and everything sits together. Mm, delicious. Yeah, oh, so you do have to plan a little in advance. Okay. But they go together fairly quickly, and um, they're nice too because you can dabble with some flavors of different things that you want to Brian's mom, kind of invent your own. Yeah, right? like I did with these. Yeah. Just oh, okay. Too many All right, so tell me about the pie first. Not yeah. sure I can endure the this one has right lavender in it. I made a crust out of crushed vanilla wafers and uh, made the crust first and then filled it with lemon and cream and the okay. um, them 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 And then whipped cream mixed with lavender. It's organic lavender buds that I found, or my husband and my son found at Happy Living. Okay. So it's a nice combination of lavender and lemon together. Okay. That's, that's really creative. I love that. The people are familiar with a chocolate pie, like a, a change up of that. Kind of an update on that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right, and what do we have here? This one looks really, has little um, kind of crumbly on top. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my improvisation. That's supposed to be lime zest, which I ran out of this morning, so I tried oh. sprinkles, but I'd recommend sticking with lime zest. It looks <laughs> a little better. <laughs> I think it looks great. It looks delicious. <laughs> this one has, um, the whole pan is lined with slices of pound cake, which is over here. Okay. And then it's a layer of um, lime pie, key lime pie filling. Okay. Topped by white chocolate pie filling, mm -hmm. and then um, some whipped cream and some crumbled white chocolate on top. Oh, it's a bit sweet. My mouth is watering already. <laughs> we might have to wait a little later in the show to try these, but I'm, I'm dying over here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't really see the, you'll be able to see the layers of that one later. Yeah. Okay, and up here? And this one was, I had never used mascarpone cheese before. This one is layers of lady fingers, um, which these are a package kind I found in the store. There are also usually some in the bakery of grocery stores that are soft. Okay. And layered with whipped cream mixed with mascarpone and honey. And then added to the layers are blackberries that are tossed in lemon juice. So there's a bit of a lemon flavor with the berry and the that's a fantastic idea. I like that kind of mixing the flavors mm -hmm. into each little component and then you kind of meld them all together. Meld them all together. That's great. Well, we have less than a minute left right now, but Nancy's going to stay with us. She has one more she's going to share with us, yes, right? Yes, I do. Where can people find these recipes? My blog is hungryenoughtoeatsix.com. All of the recipes I'm sharing this morning are there now. There are other no-bake desserts there too, like milkshakes and smoothies, um, an ice cream pie, a couple of flavors of ice cream. Lots of things that you can make without heating up your kitchen. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to trying these. Can't wait to dive right in. Yum. Hungry enough to eat six.com. Again, is Nancy's blog. Mm -hmm. She's sticking with us. You should too. And you're watching Local 44 Morning Brew. Local news that matters.